This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So again, in Selenium 4 series, guys, as I told you earlier, we can now we can take element screenshot. And in uh, last two videos, I have already shown you how to take screenshots with the help of Selenium 4. And uh, I have given you two examples. One example is that you can directly apply get a screenshot as method over there on a specific element. If you remember that I told you uh, last time that take element screenshot, this particular method as I told you, and you simply apply on this particular element, you apply get a screenshot as method is there. So what we will do that uh, uh, again, uh, we will apply a similar kind of stuff today. But now today I'll tell you that not only on a specific element, you can group of elements also. You can take the screenshot for the group of element. Group of element means, let's see there is a web table or uh, let's see there is a form field or uh, let's see that some section you want to take, right? Or group of images are available. So group of elements, you can take the screenshot. Let's see uh, if you go to this particular site, this is the HTML example. This is the HTML web table is there. So I want to take the screenshot only for this particular HTML. This all these entire elements together. So how will I do that? Other than that, let's see there is a form, right? This is a form field is there. This is a registration form on let's see on some other application. This is the entire registration form is available. I want to take the screenshot only for this particular form, not for the entire page, not for the specific element. In fact, the combination of all these elements. So how to take it together? because this form is also a kind of web element, right? This registration form is also a kind of web element or this HTML is also a kind of a table web element. So how to do that? So I'm not going to change anything. I just change the URL and um, let's see. First, we will try with this guy. I'll take this uh, HTML web table URL and uh, I inspect this guy, this particular uh, table. You just inspect it. And here you will see that this table is represented by, you can see table ID equal to customer. And the, the moment you mouse over on table, it is actually presenting the entire table, right? This table, uh, this div is presenting this entire, uh, you know, outer of this particular frame is there, right? Out of this uh, web table, there is a f uh, this kind of, you can see one outer frame, but I don't want to take the outer frame. I want to take only for this, table so you can see this including headers also including company contact and the number of rows and columns so entire screenshot i want to take so simple table id equal to customer i just copy this and instead of buy id i'll create a web element and on this particular web element i apply get a screenshot as method is there and let's see this time i want to give some name uh, web table dot png right so let's run it and it's let's see it is taking the screenshot for this web table the entire web table also not. so in earlier videos i have already told you that how to take the screenshot for the specific element now let's see it is taking the screenshot or not the page is still loading once the page is loaded the screenshot has been taken and i'll refresh the project or this screenshot folder you simply refresh it and you will see this this is, is it there or not one second uh, what is the name we have given web table dot png. So is it there or not? Let's see it's, it's not created. Let me refresh the project once again Right click on it and just refresh it again. Yeah here web table dot png got created you open this and here you see the see this entire <laughs> Right, you can see that this entire web table dot png only for the specific web table i have taken it right so it is a combination of multiple uh, web elements i have taken it now let's see some other example let's see can i take the screenshot for this particular form so i inspect this guy and then let's see this entire form this i want to take this entire form like this you can see form class is equal to ui form so okay let's see ui form i'll take this particular class I'll do one thing instead of by.id, I'll take by.class name and the class name is this. And I just change the URL just to check. It is taking the form field screenshot also, the complete form. And this time I'll give, let's see, register.png, right? And let's run it again and let's see. 
So it's opening register.freecrm.com, but something, something happened. Once again, command class name not permitted. Oops, is it? Okay. Driver.find element. So is it? One second, let me check it again. Invalid selector. Okay. What is the class name? This is a class name, UI form. Wait, just a second. Will exactly at line number 26 while creating the web element. Made a mistake. Okay, let me write it again like this. Driver dot find element by dot class name. And this is the class. Oops, one second. The class is the UAE form. Okay, there is no frame, right? Okay, the UAE form like this. And it will create a web element like this. With the exact same thing we have done. Okay, and why uh, dot class name? Okay, let's run it again. How is it possible that my dot class name is not available because it's giving in a suggestion? I don't know why it got this. Let's run it again. Oops, that's it. Element screenshot Java number 26. It's saying by dot class name. Is it? Is it? Is it? Once again, by dot class name is not available. Compound class name. Oh, 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 oh. okay, okay, okay. I'll do one thing instead of see there's a space, right? So I'll do one thing. Uh, there are two, actually two classes. I thought there was a space. So this is UI is the first class form is the second class name. So we will take CSS selector. Okay, this is better option. We will take this uh, CSS selector and in CSS selector, what I'll do, we will create dot UI dot form. Okay, this particular so we will take this dot ui dot form i didn't realize there is a space guys sorry about that and uh, that's all I because in whenever you use by dot class name if you are using a uh, class name having some spaces it will give you invalid selected exception okay so now it is a working fine it, it has already taken the screenshot i'm going to refresh my project and uh, let's see yeah registration dot png you can see Register.png, it's taking the entire registration form here, right? Perfect. Okay, so better to use by dot CSS selector and dot UI dot form because it's a class and it's a cascaded class, so we have to use a dotted format. Okay, okay, so now let's try one more thing with hubspot.com. I want to take the screenshot for this particular form. So, uh, first of all, I'll copy this URL over here and uh, and quickly I'll inspect this particular form and we will see. So we can see this particular form is there. And uh, this form is represented, see, starting from here. You see the forms is starting over here. You can see uh, this is a form, create your free CRM. And this entire form is getting ended over here after this get hubs, hub spot CRM button. You can see that, right? Okay, so I want to take the screenshot. So I can see this form, we will create one X path. And it's the only form because there are no other attributes and we are getting one of one. So I can use as an X path directly for this particular form. So instead of by.css selector, I'll be using X path. And uh, just copy, this is X path. So this is also an X path base. Okay, double slash and HTML tag without any property. And let's see, this time I'm giving register underscore hub dot png. And let's run it and let's see, it is taking the screenshot for this hub spot registration page also or not. So yeah, the page is getting open and done. And let's refresh the project and we will see register hub dot png and it's taking the screenshot for the entire form. Right guys? So this is very simple. You just create the specific web element, which is representing a form, which is representing a section, which is representing uh, the group of 
uh, different elements, which is representing a web table, which is representing a group of, uh, let's say, images or group of links, or any div section or any, let's say, top panel or or uh, footer links are available in a, within a specific uh, div or something. You can take the screenshot only for footer, for left panel, right panel, top panel, right? Only for the profile panel, only for the drop downs uh, uh, selection list if you want to take it. So like this, only thing is you need to create a, a right web element, okay? And then it's good to go, right? So that's when I personally felt that, okay, I, uh, I should create a video on this particular topic as well for creating the screenshot for a multiple group of elements, right? So that's all for this particular video. I hope you are liking this Selenium 4 series, guys. And a uh, lot of other new things I'll be I'll be preparing the videos on, okay, on Selenium 4. So keep watching my channel. And one more thing, if you haven't uh, pressed the bell icon, because I'm seeing that, okay, a lot of people are not getting a notification. So please press the bell icon because a lot of uh, new features are coming in future and a lot of new videos are coming. <clears throat> so you will be notified automatically whenever there is a new video I upload. Right. So please press the bell icon also and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching this video.